Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixel Experience Plus for our Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, first of all, let's welcome the S7 to our channel. So, this is my mom's phone and now she's not using it. So, I decided to make videos because it has a lot of ROMs upcoming. Android 10 is also stable, like almost. There are some issues and also it has got TouchWiz, which is of course the One UI 2.0 uh, port. So yeah, that review is also coming soon. So let's continue with this one first. So you can see it comes with Android 10 with the latest June 5 security patch and has this the same kernel. Uh, and you can see the build number, it's the 13 June 2020 build. So guys, as the name says, it's Pixel Experience Plus. It is Pixel Experience with additional features and you can see the accent color, the UI, it's all Pixel. Now let's go and check some features you can see into battery also you're getting this pixel layout you can see the pixel colored battery icon going to display we have night light and live display both but you have the option for night light to turn it on and live display you have color calibration and color profile and you can see you can calibrate the rgb and also you can change the color profile it's according to your needs we have the styles and wallpapers app the default one you can change the icons and accent and all that stuff and here we have the wallpapers app you can change wallpapers now this is the pixel wallpapers app the one which is uh, put on the pixel not the usual one available in the play store you can see it has pixel wallpapers the live wallpapers and some exclusive uh, this keep looking wallpapers too and then going down uh, we have a tap to wake tap to sleep and wake on plug and as you can see uh, tap to wake which is double tap to wake and it's working totally fine how can i forget the main thing which is the dark theme now almost all people who are on android 9 and android 11 android 10 sorry they use a dark mode because it really saves the battery and for amulet you can see this one is totally optimi optimized well because it has this blackish ui uh, in some ROMs, it has that grayish lineage OS type UI, which I don't like actually. I like the deep gray in this black mode. So it really looks like really nice on the AMOLED devices and may save some battery. Too. Moving forward into the settings, we get digital well-being and here you can see uh, digital well-being and parental control is also here. Here are the options for digital, uh, digital well-being and you can also go to uh, parental controls through here, I guess. Uh, Okay, set up parental controls and you can set it up. It's just easy and not much. You can just add some restrictions if you are giving your kids to use a phone or something like that. And then into system, we have other options like gestures, like jump to camera. Uh, you can easily jump to camera. You can see to quickly open camera, press the power button twice and it does the work. Uh, okay, just allow. Also, yeah, the camera is also working fine. You can see it's just with that the camera opens so i just said and this is the snap version to camera you can flash oh sorry you can install the g cams too and this is prevent ringing you can set it to mute and you can see it goes directly into mute so you can see yeah worked fine just let me remove it again then going back swipe to screenshot and we have this three finger screenshot which works fine too oh sorry yeah that's it uh, let's go back and then we have here into the sorry buttons option oh my god buttons option we have enable uh, you can also enable the on screen navbar and you can see uh, you have this uh, gestures which is uh, default and you can change it to the pill and also the three button which is the stock google one then going back uh, you can see there's a little bit response time here then into power menu you have screenshot airplane mode lockdown then we have here long place for torch which also gives work fine so that's great and then we have uh, volume buttons which will which can also wake device and the main thing uh, backlight is also working fine and home button wake is also working fine so really less devices uh, like less roms have this working and then going into we can see recent buttons we have the actions then going into status bar we have this network traffic monitor and you can see it's enabled for the status bar which i enabled and you can see it looks like this not the os one which all the new roms are adding then into system icons we have these icons which you can enable so 4g instead of lte show low, uh, show low priority notification icons clock position also you can change i like it in the center and the old one which is in the right and show seconds you can show it battery indicator you can choose circle text and portrait not much options are available 
brightness slider auto brightness brightness control you can see you can slide across the status bar and you can change it like this so yeah it's okay for now oh, i guess it's a little bit for the video oh. okay good now then going into a uh, quick settings quick pull down we have tile visibility you can customize the row and uh, columns and then we have your quick sync animation the style the duration and the interpolator i don't know actually what is this but yeah if you know this customizations you can change it according to your uh, preference and uh, that's it for the pixel experience review you get full pixel ui pixel stuff with uh, some add-ons so if you like very little customization and if you really love the smoothness of this pixel experience rom then sure you should give a try to pixel experience plus i'm going to review more roms on this device so if you have this galaxy s7 or s7 edge which is almost uh, just a little bit different about the battery and that edge and all that stuff so you can just follow me uh, like subscribe this channel first and then you can follow me on instagram and also i have a facebook page you can follow there now i'm becoming more active on social media too so yeah you can ask questions here also if you want instructions about how to flash it's really easy like just you do any osp rom so i have those into the description so you can check that out and that's it guys uh, i hope to see you guys in the next video uh, till then uh, oops accidental touch bye bye and please stay at your home and stay safe bye bye